to the ground and yeah. So my introduction to the Houston punk scene was through my best friend Matt. I met him in high school and he showed me this band called Gen Y. Uh, I wanted to steal my mom's car to go see them in Dallas with the Oi Scouts, but they were playing in Houston, so I went to that show instead. That was my first punk show, and that was my like introduction to punk rock and punk in general. Absolutely amazing experience. As of last year, I actually got to play with Gen Y, which was like, you know, like I said, my introduction to punk. So it was a dream come true of just like playing with heroes of mine. And I've been in the punk scene ever since. Uh, going on four years of this shit. It's been amazing. Punk and Jay's where I got my start with the Houston scene. Um, so whenever I was about eight years old, my father threw me off of a mountain and shit like that due to, uh, like, blood beef and shit like that, a blood feud and shit. But whenever you threw me off, I landed in the middle of a fucking Mexican coke pit. And ever since then, I've been just fucking cracking heads, you know? <laughs> What was our introduction? That shitty House of J show that was like, oh, shit. Okay, well don't say shitty House of J show. <laughs> it was. hard on that. And then, but then, it was, then we went to other shows and they were live. God damn, y'all are beautiful. Make some noise for Houston. It was beautiful. I, I, I came here in 2013. And the second night I was here, I saw Days and Days. At this tiny, at the tiny ass house venue, um, I swear, like the living room was probably about the size of this porch, and there was just sixty sweaty, folk punk kids, just singing along to every days and days song, and I remember I came here to Houston to like searching for like music and activism and all that kind of stuff, and like I saw that set and I was like, I, I found it, like I, I have to get back here as soon as possible because this is beautiful. The Houston scene has impacted me greatly. I have never had so much fun in my life. I was really <laughs> depressed and sad, and it doesn't make me depressed and sad. If I'm like in my room cuddling my cat, I don't leave my room for like days and weeks. Psh, house of Jay, let's go. Oh, that's how it feels. Like throwing myself into like some crazy party scene. <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen? Not me. It's like a. You bought us an Go, Go, do that. I'm coming to The music scene impacted my life. Well, I've been able to go out more, feel more social, feel more confident, make friends, invest in my hobbies, have fun. Just have fun, bro. A better life, a better. I just feel happier, to put it simple. I just feel more inspired. I feel more creative. I feel way happier with my life. I feel way more content. I feel like I'm actually making creative stuff instead of just making bullshit that's just not for me. I feel like I'm actually having friends that I enjoy talking to. It's fun as shit, man. I think I would have, I would have 
I don't think I would have been here no. if like I didn't get back into the scene. I don't think I would have been as happy. I don't think I would have found my escape if I was in here. So it's just one of those things that makes me happy. Yeah, Roman! You're amazing! I appreciate you. Oh my god. It is it hasn't just like impacted my life. Like it is my whole fucking life. Like my life revolves around this. My life can't be impacted any more than it already has. Like I'm just like I never feel better when I'm away from this. Like this is everything to me, you know? It's impacted my life in so many ways. Okay, so we're gonna play every single song we've ever written. It's gonna take five minutes. Met a lot of cool people. Met a lot of nice people. Uh, it made me more expressive. I'm not afraid to show myself more than I was when I first entered. Punk scene is like a like a gang, man. It's, for, it's with you for life. I mean, everyone loves each other. Everyone's respectful for each other. I mean, there's nothing better than that. It doesn't get any better than that. You know what I'm saying? The music scene has impacted my life uh, significantly. Um, I don't think I'd actually be like the human I am today without the love and like respect that the people have in this community. Um, without it, I think I probably would have most likely killed myself. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. How, how has the music scene impacted your life? Man, this shit is lit. That's how it's impacted my life. How has the music scene imp impacted your life? Shit, shit's been making me really fucking happy because it's the only place I know where I can throw a motherfucker and I won't get in trouble for it. <laughs> Do a flip! Okay, brought me closer to a fuck ton of people, giving me stuff to fuck. do, just overall enrichment yeah. in my life, and uh, like a sense of purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Shouts out Septic, shouts out Bozos, shouts out Half Pipes, shouts out Antitrust, shouts out Substance, shouts out Mexican Coke. Bro, we got so fucking much, bro. Whatever fucking flavor you want in Houston, Houston fucking got it, bro. Bands right now. For Houston bands, uh, El Jomotron, Strange Joy, uh, Incel, Gripe is, Gripe is going on because my uh, band photographer is in it. That's um, cool. Cooking Times is great, Mix and Coke is great, Shock Treatment is great, uh, Substance is great. All of them are fucking amazing. Check them out. Or he's doing uh, support their band cap, uh, is, is, uh, buy merch, buy zines, do whatever you fucking want. Like support the scene. Yeah. Is that all? Do you have some? You take the rest of it. No, no, I just want like a fry. I got you a single. Uh, favorite bands would be fucking Mexican Coke and. Yeah! I'd say, what else, what else, what else? Uh, shock, tre shock treatment. <laughs> Probably Pinky Promise. I love Pinky Promise, and I think they're all really cool, so.